All right, you want to feel the bass? Let's do it. You big dummy. My name is Derek and I test amplifiers to see how much power they actually put out. If you enjoy those kind of things, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's go on and see what we have today. Brand X. What a name for an amplifier. Never heard of these before, honestly. Somebody told me about this model, the Brand X 609 X2HE. 7499 is a refurb. Looks like now they only have them new. They're still only 99 bucks. Check out a couple videos ago, I actually unboxed one of these live. And the website is brandxaudiovideo.com, but when I go there, I get a page can't be displayed. So I went to the Wayback Machine at archive.org and it looks like they only got screenshots up to about 2013. So the website's not even available anymore, but I was able to get some specs thanks to archive.org. You can see 609 watts times two at four ohms, 955 times two at two ohms. 1910 times one at four ohms but we think these probably are max numbers so let's take a closer look at the amp you can see about 19 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches so it's a pretty big size amplifier and with the height that's right around 2.7 in the highest position on one end of the amp we have the rca connectors which are tiffany style for line out and line input a switch for mono and stereo, remote bass connection, power protection, LEDs. The other side we have dual speaker outputs. This is a stereo amplifier. We have zero gauge inputs and 60 amp fuses. Now when you screw the uh, terminals down, the wires to the terminals, you have to flip the amp upside down. You can see zero gauge here for positive and negative. And we have three 60 amp fuses. We're going to get back to that in a little bit. Here's the bass knob. It's actually metal bass knob. has a secure connection on it. Pretty nice little gig here in about a 20 foot wire so you can connect up to the front of your vehicle. Now here on the top of the amp you can see there are some uh, potentiometers and switches. A high pass filter, a crossover switch, low pass filter, adjustable subsonic which is nice, adjustable bass boost, and the gain control. Now let's get the amp hooked up to the amplifier dyno. So we can check out the RMS power output and see how it does. First up, we'll test the stereo mode. 4 ohm stereo, it's rated 609 by 2. We know there's no way it's going to do that. Let's find out what it does certified up to 1% THD at 40 hertz. About half that, 309, 290. Now uncertified takes us up to the clipping point of the amplifier. We expect a little bit more than the certified mode and we got it about 326 watts per channel. Dynamic burst sends a 40 hertz burst tone into the amp. Yeah, we're not getting any close to that 600 watts by two. Next up, we'll try two ohm stereo rated 955 by two. Again, we're going to assume about half of that. <laughs> Certified 1% THD at 40 hertz. Yeah, a little bit more than half, 533, 531. Uncertified, 556, 552, not too bad. And then dynamic burst. It's interesting this amp doesn't have a huge amount of dynamic range in it because I think the power supply is heavily regulated. So that kind of affects that. Next up, we went to the mono mode. We'll try four ohms, which rated 1,910 watts. Certified up to 1% THD at 40 hertz, 1,089 watts. Uncertified up to clipping, 1,142. And dynamic, yeah, we don't even quite get that 1,100 watts here. Again, the power supply on this seems to be holding back. So what's Big D think about this and these ratings?
And here's the internals of the Brand X. You can see it does have a fan inside. This is a class AB amplifier. It has the dual transformers here. It has 16 volt, 3300 microfarad uh, filters for the power input. And it's a nice layout. It's kind of old school layout. It's classic design. For the rail caps, we have 63 volt, 5600 microfarad. And yeah, notice the three fuses over here on the right, 60 amp. Well, let's check out one of them. It's connected to nothing, my friends. It's connected to air. The only good thing I'll say about this is you get a spare, right? A spare fuse. These 60 amp maxi style fuses are not that easy to find. So that's you big dummy. Another reason why we can't assume the fuse ratings equals the power output rating. Now let's take a look at the results. You guys saw several of the tests I did. So the four ohm stereo, the two ohm stereo and the four ohm mono. They're all here, you can pause this if you'd like to see these up close, but basically about half of what they give as the max power. Next up, we are going to do some SPL test. We'll put this in the vehicle. Let's check it out and see how it does. So here's the Brand X amplifier that we had on the dyno. It's very bright out here today, so I'm sorry about all the reflections, but that amp is so shiny. Makes you want to get down and boogie. But anyway, we have it hooked up to the Pioneer ADPRS here, and I've got it Bluetoothed in. I've got the Term Lab hooked up. I've got the speaker probes in. I got the power probe there for the speaker line. We'll see how much power it does and how many dBs we can get. Brand X, let's see how it does. All right, got the Term Lab hooked up. We've got sensor down there in the kick. We'll go ahead and start up the meter. And we're gonna play some music. This is how we like to roll. Slow down the bass. Let's try it out, see what we get. Oh yeah, $142.74 with $155 worth of gear. Pretty nice. All right, got the Brand X on the 412s. We're going to try a 57 hertz burp with the Term Lab. Here we go. Oh yeah. All right, just <clears throat> open the driver's door and try this 57 hertz burp again. See what we get. Yeah, boy! 145.4 outlaw score here for the $150 SPL challenge. Not too bad. So there you have the SPL test with the Brand X. It's not quite 1,910 watts, but it's pretty impressive, especially at the price I paid. Only 75 bucks. Got it refurbed. But uh, yeah, I'm really digging the term lab with the clamp and everything. Makes it so much easier to get those numbers. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Brand X put out some SPLs with the $20 Law Punk subs. Get you some. All right, there you go, guys. Hope you appreciate the video here. Thanks so much, as always, for watching. I appreciate a thumbs up, subscribing, liking, sharing, all that fun stuff. Special thanks, Jay, Matthew, Marcus, Jesus Tire, Soundstream Registry, Gately Audio, Lord of Bass, Hammer of Camera. I'm out of here. All right, Brand X, we're going to try two channels at one ohm. It's only rated down to two ohms, so let's try it certified 40 hertz.
2 ohm certified 40 hertz for the brand X. This is mono, not ready to handle this load. Twelve fifty eight, thirteen point eight five. Check out that current pull. Woo. Here's the final dyno sheet with all the numbers, including two ohm mono, two point six seven ohm mono, and one ohm stereo. Pause it if you want to take a closer look. So on that last run hit the 145 actually test both meters and they were pretty close but the rear view mirror it actually lifted off I don't know if I can get it to do it again but it fell off and it fell down and hit right here on the corner and it broke the mirror dang it hope no I got no seven years of bad luck big D don't need that 